Course in Miracles, Lesson 23, uh, January 27th, 2021, and tomorrow is full moon, January is full moon in Leo. So it's um, powerful cleansing and release, and supposedly you can think about what you want to clear and release. Uh, focus on that to get rid of it. It's also about um, self-expression, and uh, I expressed myself twice today. Um such a big deal to me and then I get like support in my little group and it's so funny it's funny that I I don't expect support I expect um I expect attack <laughs> so lesson 23 I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts the idea for today contains the only way out of fear that will ever succeed Nothing else will work. Everything else is meaningless. But this way cannot fail. Every thought you have makes up some segment of the world you see. It is with your thoughts then that we must work if your perception of the world is to be changed. If the cause of the world you see is attack thoughts, you must learn that it is these thoughts which you do not want. There is no point in lamenting the world. There's no point in trying to change the world. It is incapable of change because it is merely an effect. But there is indeed a point in changing your thoughts about the world. Here you are changing the cause. The effects will change automatically. Uh, a long time ago I channeled uh, emotions are not real. They're not standalone things. They are reactions to thoughts. And I used the example of my mom dying. When my mom died... I could either think, oh, I'm glad she's not suffering anymore, and then my emotions would be relief or peace. I'm not glad she died, of course, but glad that she's no longer suffering. Uh, that's not what I experienced, though, because <laughs> she was too young. She was only 58. And um, I, I thought that her suffering was bullshit, too. I didn't want her to suffer either. So I wasn't like, yay, she's not suffering anymore. I was like... Well, that was just bullshit too. So um, my actual experience, my mother died. She was too young. It was all bullshit. It was so wrong. And then I saw these people like, <laughs> if that person went, then the world would be a better place. But my mom's gone instead. And now the world is a worse place. So and my dad said something I'll never forget. Because there was someone I had to take care of, not in my family. And... And I was like, oh, man, if that person went instead of mom, like, everybody's life would be easier. And my dad said, Carl, you can't go around killing people in your mind. Like, that's not how it works. He says, if people could trade their loved ones out for people they didn't, they didn't like, he says, I'd have been dead like 50 times over by now. <laughs> so he's so funny. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. So same same incident, my mother dying. If my thought is that, thank goodness she's not suffering anymore, I would experience relief. But I actually experienced, well, this is BS. She's too young and all those people are douches. Why didn't they go instead of my mom? So I experienced anger, bitterness, resentment. Luckily, it was a long time ago. So I'm uh, you know, much, much, much more mature now. But I still remember feeling like that. So... So if I didn't realize that emotions are just reactions to thoughts, I would think that my emotion of this is BS is fact. But instead, that was um, the effect and changing the cause. Changing the cause will change the effect. And um, allowing my mother's life to be about her instead of about me and my loss freed me from the um, the effects I was feeling where it was BS. And, uh, well, of course, being able to channel her was made it easier, too, because she's like, I'm not your mother. I'm just a soul. I played the role of your mother one time, and, you know, my turn was over, and, you know, whatever. But it's like... Um, you know, people think their emotions are facts, like they are 
fully righteous and feeling the way they feel and getting validated. It's like, it's really not that way. And you're only causing yourself pain. You know, if people want me to use, to learn like all these pronouns, I'm just going to say, nice to meet you. And then I'm going to go over somewhere else. I'm going to hit the buffet, you know, give myself a drink or something. Just say, nice to meet you. I, they, I don't owe them a, a conversation or any mental space to learn new pronouns. Okay. So we had in the airlines, we, it, it's from the military though. Uh, the, they would say every piece of information is assigned to like a BB and your mind has all these BBs in it. And when we, we learn, there's a lot to learn with jets. There's, you got to learn all these different numbers. You have to learn all these chunks of, uh, emergency checklists. And so first day at ground school for the new plane, you would dump the BBs from the last plane so that you could, so you wouldn't cross mix them up. And, um, so they, I flew with a lot of military guys and, and if people try to give them information that they really didn't care about, they would say, mm, I'm not going to waste a BB on that. <laughs> uh, I flew with the best people. Oh my God. Okay. So There's no point in trying to change the world. It's incapable of change because it's merely an effect. But there is indeed a point in changing your thoughts about the world. Or about my mother's death, so you understand. Here, you are changing the cause. The effects will change automatically. The world you see is a vengeful world, and everything in it is a symbol of vengeance. Each of your perceptions of external reality is a pictorial representation of your own attack thoughts. One can well ask if this can be called seeing. Is not fantasy a better word for such a process and hallucination a more appropriate term for the result? Um, externally on. Okay, so they say uh, pictorial representation of your own attack thoughts. Okay, the law of attraction would say you're always a vibrational match for something. So whatever's coming back to you, if you like it, you know, if it's, it's, if it's um, desire, if it feels good, then you're a vibrational match for your desires. If you hate it, you're a vibrational match for your contrast. So people who have the hate has no home here sign, they see a lot of hate, a lot of hate, a lot of hate, but they're focusing on it and it's the subject of their sentence. And by saying, you know, I, those signs, are they just really mean F Trump. But I have more respect for them if that's the, what their sign said because <laughs> they would at least be honest with themselves. But instead, they put up a hate has no home here sign thinking that they're showing, they're virtue signaling that they're loving people. That's not what's happening. They're a vibrational match for hate and they're hating Trump, but they feel righteous about it. They feel self-righteous about it and they want a virtue signal. it, So they feel good about it, but who feels good about it? Their ego. So they're aligning with their ego. They're in total, um, identification with their ego mind. And, um, you know, I, I have to know, I have to think that there are some people that there's something about that sign. It just doesn't feel right. You know, they just look at it, but they're like, no, that means love. That shows I'm a loving person, but there's got to be something in there, especially for the intuitive people. They've got to go, there's something about that sign. It just doesn't feel good. But maybe they'll take them down now, you know? That'd be nice. Okay. But if they don't take them down, then, and then if I get triggered by it, then I need to, then it gives me some work to do on myself. So... Anyway, it's all fun. It's all a game. This is all fun. It's all a big fun game. Um, yes, people are dying and people are going to die. But people always have died. Oh, there's so much. I don't know how to turn off some of my little notifications. I just know how to leave my phone in another room. <laughs> Ignore it. So. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. Is not fantasy a better word for such a process and hallucin hallucination a more appropriate term for the result? You see the world which you have made, but you do not see yourself as the image maker. That's what we call an unconscious creator, law of attraction, unconscious creator. You cannot be saved from the world, but you can escape from its cause. This is what salvation means. Okay, so saved, um, you can escape from the cause. That is salvation. That's the same as Ram Das saying and Neem Kuroli Baba saying, in the world, but not of the world. You're in the world, you're not of the world. 
so you don't get overly attached to meanings and um, identifications. Okay, this is what salvation means. For where is the world you see when its cause is gone? Vision already holds a replacement for everything you think you see now. Loveliness can light your images and so transform them that you will love them even though they were made of hate. He doesn't know where. For you will not be making them alone. The idea for today introduces the thought that you are not trapped in the world you see because its cause can be changed. This change requires first that the cause be identified and then let go so that it can be replaced. The first two steps in this process require your cooperation. The final one does not. Your images have already been replaced. By taking the first two steps, you will see that this is so. Okay, so, so the change requires first that the cause be identified and then let go. Okay, so my pain about my mother's death, the cause is that I was thinking, uh, the cause was my thoughts that it was BS. If I let that go, then the seeing takes place. She had a beautiful life. She told me. She told me that she loved her life, even though ooh, it was rough, man. I guess mine was a little rough here and there. Okay. Besides using it throughout the day as the need arises, five practice periods are required in applying today's idea. As you look about, you repeat the idea slowly to yourself and then close your eyes and devote about a minute to searching your mind for as many attack thoughts as occur to you. As each one crosses your mind, say, I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about blank. I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about blank. So you probably have your own way to do this by now, but I think post-it notes on a phone writing, you know, you can pause this video. I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about blank. So all these are basically one minute practice periods five times. Um, and then, you know, on your post-it note, you can just put a little hash mark to show how many times you've, comp you've done it. So when you have a minute or two, I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about blank. Search your mind. Search your mind. One minute. Do about a minute, two minutes. Just put a hash, hash mark on your yellow post-it note on your phone. That's one down, four to go. Just whatever can make it easy for you. I did not do well today. I did not. Um, well, I, had, I did have two healings and then I received um, aromatech from Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, if you've watched this. Uh, I don't think you do because you watch in the morning, but... Um, Anyway, today wasn't my best. Probably today was my worst Course in Miracles, but that's all right. I can do it for a while in bed. Hold each attack thought in mind as you say this, and then dismiss that thought and go on to the next. In the practice periods, be sure to include both your thoughts of attacking and of being attacked. So my attack thoughts and my feelings of being attacked. Their effects are exactly the same because they are exactly the same because as it is inside so it is outside as it is outside so it is inside and now the full moon in leo is about self-expression too it's the fear of self-expression and i woke up this morning to you know a text from uh one of, one of the couples that i married one of them uh, the the husband is in the military and the wife just has their second they have their second child and she said you know they're pretty young she she's obviously hoping that you know we don't go shooting any starting any new wars and she's like oh if my husband gets deployed so um the bob dylan song masters of war came into my head so i looked it up and i posted bob dylan masters of war with the lyrics on uh, like start up the military industrial complex because everything's back to normal so that's how i feel but it was, a, it was a scary post to make because it's really how I feel that like, you know, peace in the Middle East and um, four years of no new wars. And now we're going back to normal, back to normal. And some people are like, yay, finally, going back to normal. I'm like, it's good for you, but it's not good for the innocent people getting drone bombed across the world, you know. So anyway, it was hard to write that post. It was hard to put up that post. Um, I'm very sarcastic. Uh, so I said, you know, don't worry. The media will keep you safe, sane and secure. And, um, you can go back to sleep now. <laughs> so yeah, was it douchey? Eh. 
you know, if you hear me say it and you hear it in my cheeky voice, it's like, mm, you know, it's all right. It's what it is for now. Anyway, for now, that's what it looks like. So we'll see. Um, but my attack thoughts, uh, those, there's a lot of them in there. <laughs> I was attacking and then I was worried about being attacked. So I'm using the full moon energy to throw out an attack an all out assault on the normies and the, the people who just love normal and war. They don't, I, I don't think everybody knows they're voting for war. You know, I don't think they know that's what it is, the military industrial complex, but that's all right. You know, and, and, uh, people can attack me and call me like, I'm no Republican, you know, I'm definitely not, uh, I'm like, it doesn't matter what I am, you know, it doesn't matter, but I don't like war and uh, I don't think, I think if people knew what was going on behind all that, I think that if they would just listen, but they don't want to, and that's their free will choice not to listen. So I have to bless and forgive and respect their free will choice to live the way they want and love them. But it was important that I felt like I could just sarcastically express my point of view. Um, went through the scaredness of it. But, uh, but to tell you the truth, it's like, you know what, if, uh, if I trigger people out of my life, that's what I need to do because I'm ready to get my really core group. You know, I got, I got so much to teach as far as like quantum healing. And it really lights me up. But I don't think that um, I'll be available to teach people that are written on like super low vibration. Because they'll just slow down everybody else. But I still love them. Okay. Hold each attack thought in your mind. As you say, I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about blank. And then dismiss the thought and go on to the next. In the practice periods, be sure to include both your thoughts of attacking and being attacked. I just love this, especially it's like full moons tomorrow and it's, and the, and the moon's about self-expression and that is the fifth, this is the fifth chakra, self-expression communication. And if you feel afraid to say something because you're going to be attacked, just take a moment and come from love. I love myself too much to engage. You don't have to speak your truth all the time, but if you take a moment to change, where am I coming from? Uh, either. I speak my truth with love or I don't speak and engage in this nonsense. Silence is the best response to nonsense. I choose to not speak um, out of love for myself because I know I'm just going to engage in drama and get attacked. Now, this is perfect. I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about blank. Hold the attack thought in the mind as you say it and then dismiss the thought and go on to the next. Include both thoughts of attacking and being attacked. Their effects are exactly the same because they are exactly the same. Other people are just mirrors for us. You do not yet recognize this. And you are asked at this time only to treat them as the same in today's practice periods. We are still at the stage of identifying the cause of the world you see. When you finally realize that thoughts of attack and of being attacked are not different, you will be ready to let the cause go. Okay. I love it. I love, oh, I love just biting into this material and I love that there's a full moon tomorrow and I love that everything's lining up and, uh, and everything's happening for me, not to me. So I hope that you're, uh, you know, getting there or, you know, working with it and not beating yourself up if you're not doing these. Cause I blew today not off, you know, but I did it twice, like three times, maybe. And I'll go do it now. So that makes four. But, you know, this is not to stress you out. <laughs> and there is no final exam. All right. I can escape from the world by giving up attack thoughts about something. I love this. I love it. And I love you guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. 2.16 p.m. on January 28th, full moon. Uh, that's Thursday, Eastern time, 2.16 p.m. Eastern time. And you want to put plain white paper out. And then you let the full moon energy absorb into the paper. And so I'll probably take mine in. So that's Thursday, 2.16 p.m. I'll probably take my paper in like Friday night. 
and then I keep it in I keep it in a folder. I usually keep them separate, and then I just write. Now let's see how I have it. Like I write it. Uh, you write on the new moon. I'm not gonna show you. Okay, and then so you're gonna write on that paper. You put it away, and then you'll write on it during the new moon. Okay, we'll go over that. All right, love ya. See ya.